Hello, and welcome to Speak American English with Lyman Holton. My name is Lyman Holton. In this lesson, we're going to talk about American English grammar. Are you ready? Let's begin. Let's talk about what is the difference? What's the difference between present perfect and simple past? Now, we talked about this in past lessons, but there's more to say about this. Only used from a time in the past until now. That's the present perfect. Now, I'm going to put up another board here in a moment, and we're going to do the same thing with the simple past. But we're comparing the present perfect and the simple past. Okay? Present perfect here. It's only used from a time in the past until now. What do we mean by that? Well, one, two, three sentences. Number one, I worked here for ten years. We're talking about in the past up until today, now, at this moment. That's what's happened in the past, not the future. Number two. She hasn't, she has not, she hasn't arrived home yet. We're talking about the past. We expect her to arrive home soon. Maybe we think she should have already been home. But she hasn't arrived home yet. Up to now, at this time, she's not here. Number three. Have they ever been to Alaska. Have they ever been to Alaska at any time in their lives? Have they been to Alaska? Any time in the past, up to now, up to today. That's the present perfect. All right? Now, let's take a look at the simple past. Comparing the simple past with the present perfect, the simple past can be used with a finished time. The present perfect cannot be. Okay? Let's look at three sentences here. Number one, I worked there until 2012. And then I changed jobs. But until 2012, that's a finished time. So we cannot use the present perfect. We're not going to have in there the word have, has, been, none of that. Number two, she wasn't at home this morning. She wasn't at home this morning. Okay, the finish time is this morning. Did. Did they go to Alaska last year? So here, number three, we can't have have, but we can use did. Go to Alaska last year, last year is the finish time. Now, up here, if I made a mistake, I didn't mean to say uh, we can't use was. What I meant to say is we can't use have. We're not going to use been. Okay? So, one, two, three. There we go. Comparison between present perfect and simple past. That concludes this lesson. Thank you for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you at our next lesson. Goodbye for now.